This is a back scratcher. He's scratching himself. That's all he's doing. He loves to scratch and play with this device. It's called a Baylor back scratcher, if there's any Baylor bears here. Uh, and his name is Jerry. Now we know Jerry's a boy turtle because of the long tail. The females and the juveniles have short tails. This is Merry Christmas. Guess when we found her? Right. Merry Christmas has what we think are genetic defects. If you notice how yellow she is compared to Jerry, the male, it's because she does not have the right camouflage. She's genetically deformed. She's got a lump on her back. She's missing a back flipper. And these are all believed to be part of poor genetics. Now, she's not going back in the ocean so that she can't reproduce. And an endangered species, they don't want her breeding and passing on the weak genetics. So she is stuck in captivity, confined to an aquarium or a zoo. Sea Turtle Inc., founded by Isla Locher, the turtle lady of South Padre Island, was formed to aid and assist in the protection of Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, and to ultimately restore the population to a level that will ensure its survival. Through the years, we've expanded our scope to actively support the conservation of all marine turtle species. Sea Turtle Inc. provides educational programs to schools, tourists, civic organizations, and new media. Each day, a volunteer from Sea Turtle Inc. meets visitors at the facility and talks about the different species of sea turtles, their importance to the environment, and what we as individuals can do to pull them back from the edge of extinction. In addition to the daily shows, we're open Tuesday through Sunday to welcome visitors and introduce them to the turtles. You can show your support by stopping by to meet the turtles and visit the gift shop where you can load up on t-shirts and other turtle stuff. Proceeds go to help sea turtle conservation. Sea Turtle Inc. We're growing and look forward to expanding our commitment to the environment and its inhabitants through greater education, rehabilitation, and conservation.